Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. It's torture time! Yes! Hey guys, welcome to Geepy Live. Yeah, special edition. Yes. Special uh, steal all of John's joy in life edition. <laughs> I think that's the official title. <laughs> so we have, uh, if you haven't seen, we have some big news for you guys and some big guys. We've got some big guys for you guys. <laughs> We've been talking about it like all week. Uh, Callie's been talking about it for weeks, about wanting to torture me, essentially. But the gist of it is that uh, Jeff and Todd here, by the way, these are our buddies, are actually professional bodybuilders. I don't know who could tell. Huh? Right. And... Uh, they are training, actually Todd is training for like a competition coming up, and, and I don't know, these two over here were colluding like, hey, this is going to be really difficult, why don't we make John P. do it? Yes, so uh, we decided that uh, we'd put him through a torture test, and uh, you're going to, well, both of you are going to um, make sure that John gets in shape for once in his life. First of all, I'm a little disappointed well, because my gummy, my gummy worms. You were trying to palm this off on him, like, uh, like he. This belongs on your side, this, and you know what? It actually does not belong red. anywhere in this new training program. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to learn about that. So, you know, what we wanted to do was, uh, Callie and I really don't know Jack. Okay, so we've got the experts here, and we haven't asked them. I swear to God, this is totally true. Everybody can vouch for this. We haven't asked them anything about what we're going to do. We, we signed up to do something without even knowing exactly what it is that We'd we're going know to do. We know nothing. We were how did, saving how did you pull it. that off? We were saving it up for you guys, okay? So, to lay the groundwork, all right, first of all, let's introduce yes. Jeff and Todd. We're going to start with Todd because you and I go way back. We've known each other for years, been friends for a long time, and in fact, he used to be my boss. <laughs> We, uh, we worked at Layered Tech together, and he... Wait, I thought you always said you were always the boss. Well, I am the boss, but, you know, <laughs> he is actually... This is what is so funny. You guys look at him. He's this gargantuan mammoth of a man. I feel like I need a mm -hmm. stool. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, what's so funny is you are the founder of Layered Tech. You were the president while I was there working for you. What in the hell? Executives don't look like you. What the <laughs> hell happened? I don't know. I need stress relief. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Did you start this process of bodybuilding and, and, and doing weights before you? You were always in good shape. Yeah, so I always trained. And then Jeff, actually, I actually met Jeff through my wife. My, my wife used to do shows, figure, and uh, fitness shows. That's why I met Jeff probably three or four years ago. And uh, I started training with Jeff. and. Um, liked what I saw and just it's fun for me so I'm always the, the challenge and up for anything as John's gonna be so that's what we uh, got started back at layered tech okay we used to always say if we needed to you know close some business or something like that we need to bring Todd in because he looks like a freaking model okay <laughs> and even back then he was always the most fit person in the entire company uh, which is rare you, you know think about who you're think about like the ceo or the president of your company they don't look like that right. okay i mean take but, a look at some of his pictures can you oh got yeah some? do you have do you have uh, you're just jumping right in i'm just jumping well why not yeah see there you go that's not oh. normal <laughs> um, that's, people don't look like that in fact that's like comments it's people were saying three years ago <laughs> <laughs> people do, people don't look like that so. i do <laughs> right, right. Dave Curley does. Um, so, Jeff, right, when you so first that's... met him, what did you think? Uh, gosh, you know, I have known Todd for a long time, and our relationship started because his wife was very interested in training as when it was in the shows, and, uh, God, we've known each other, kind of been friends for forever. Mm -hmm. uh, but Todd and I became friends really because we had the same passion for training. We liked to train together, and so... Push each other hard. Uh, yeah, we started uh, becoming training partners, and there was a venue that Todd decided that he wanted to compete in and model and shoot, and so we sort of built a relationship that initially was kind of a friendship, and then... Uh, I kind of became sort of a mentor for him to be able to do these things, but 
for the most part, we really kind of have a working relationship today where we just kind of beat on each other and bring the best out of each other. Yeah. You know, I think the things that make Todd incredibly successful in his business are the same things that make him successful in his personal life and, and all of his aspirations in that he's just a really intense, focused person who's a hard worker and um, he's really well-rounded and so we fit really well together and he has a lot of value to add in a lot of different ways and, and one way is to be you know a great friend and a great partner and um, it's been a great great experience working with him so far. How long now he's been? being well hang yeah, on he's, he's being kind of modest yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, he's being modest. A little bit of a <laughs> so, so, mentor, but So let's right. take this, this yeah. back a few steps right? So Jeff uh, for everyone that doesn't know Jeff including you're you so two nice. right? <laughs> Je Jeff's got a background that goes way back and if you're in Dallas area or you're in women's physique or competitive fitness and stuff you know Jeff Twelly right? So he's sort of uh, the, been the, the guy that has produced quite a few professional women, professional uh, physique professional, uh, bikini professional figure, as well as uh, a slew of different bodybuilders, um, including Jeff's competitive nature and how... Yeah, do we have a picture of Jeff? Yes. Here we go. Hang on, if you, he's pulling it up. Oh, you. here you go, working out. <laughs> Look, okay. Oh, jeez. So that's some recent some. So this damn is, it, man, you're a big. <laughs> yeah, if you look at if you go way back with Jeff, there's lots of pictures out there of comp. There we go, competition yeah. and that's stuff. That's a little bit a little bit back, right? How, it is how long ago was that? It was in 2006. Okay. Um, Are you bigger or smaller now? I'm than probably that? bigger now, but you know you ebb and flow when you do shows, sure. and that was a time when I was really dieted or smaller or tighter, getting ready for a show. Um, Can you bring that back, Ken? I just think it's funny that he said, oh yeah, I was smaller. <laughs> we look at that and we're like, holy crap. I, I, I guess I should say John uh, lighter. I guess okay. I should say yeah. lighter. So. That's still a bit, <laughs> I mean, sort of. Yeah, okay. well, the idea is that you're lighter to look yeah. bigger, and I guess that's kind of confusing, but as you drop your body fat, uh, you can see muscle better, the definition better, so uh, when you're on stage, you were to look bigger. If I were in clothes, I would look really small, um, would yeah. weigh less, but the, yeah. the process and some process that you guys are going to get to go through here with <laughs> Todd is a process of sort of uh, refining your physicality, and, it, and in that aspect, you're also kind of challenging yourself and figuring out who you are and pushing your limits, and so I think that's what's kind of attractive about it to anyone is is that it's a project and it's, it's really tangible. So there's some tangible results in terms of the way you look and the way you feel and having a timeline and all those things for someone who's driven um, can be really positive. And so for me, for you know a significant part of my life, uh, it's something that I was just really into on, on all fronts in terms of challenging myself physically, but then also uh, the science behind behind it and the, yeah. the fact that it's really dynamic and that it changes and that you change and then that sort of translated into me with working with different people who have all have their own dynamic and you know their own attitude and mentality and uh, physical attributes and you put those things together and every project is, is different and can be exciting. The one thing I have to say though is like learning over the last few years, right? So you believe in not a lot of people in this industry and you think different things but then one of the things anytime that this man has ever told me, hey, he'll look at you, right? And won't ask any questions and say this is what you need to do and then all of a sudden within the days or weeks, whatever it is, is that's the result you're going to get if you listen and trust. Yeah. And that's the, one of the key things, right? It's that, that experience and the expertise yeah. and really like he's talking about the science and the biology and all the things behind, but he understands that deeply. That's why there's like a, a weight to get in with Jeff to train or for advice and different things. And his business is absolutely uh, incredible in this market, but serves a ton of clients all over the place. And people come to him for that knowledge, right? That's not readily available everywhere. And, um, so, so very, very. So John, modest. are you going to be willing to listen to the experts? I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> so you know, it's funny because. Uh, I've always been an active person, you know, and I've been I've been fairly athletic, uh, with the exceptions of, of blocks of time in my life when my job interfered with my ability to to enjoy my life, you know, um, and when I was younger specifically, I used to work out a lot, and I was very fit, you know, um, uh, but I never was able to get big like. Todd looks right now. He's, you know, got a big chest muscles. I mean, I the biggest I've ever been in my life was like 175, mm -hmm. and um, it was back to your diet. Uh, I just couldn't get bigger. No, and I mean, I would eat a lot. I would work out constantly, but the problem is I didn't know exactly mm -hmm. what to do, and that's well, that, I think that's one of the challenges a lot of people experience. Is an unknown. Yeah. Right. You know, there, there's got to be. Obviously, you guys have done it. It's possible. But for normal folks, it just some it kind of feels like I don't 
I don't honestly believe that I could really look like Todd. So, so first of all, I know I can't because he's he's good looking to start with, and he has hair. But right. if we take that out of the equation, yeah, it's like hard for me to even imagine that I would ever look like but that. But if we went back sure. and we looked at my transformation from starting with Jeff right in 2011, or whatever, you never looked like me. Well, well, you didn't well, look like either, this. I didn't look like exactly what I look like today, right? That's a combination of a lot of things. Over yeah. if you look at from 2012 when I got my pro card to my first year last year, right? There's a huge difference, and even to this year. So I think a, a lot of people see it as something that can't be done or they can't envision themselves. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was the same way until you actually have that, I'll call it guidance, right? And right. put in front of you, and which allows you to, uh, I guess, have someone else believe in you a little bit more than you might. Sure. Well, some of the folks in the chat room are making comments, you know, like uh, about, uh, apply to me and, and some other people people who think that I can't gain weight. Well, you eat candy all day long. You oh, drink I can eat sodas, anything I want. I, I and you it never doesn't gain matter. Weight. Right. I and I've never even when when I was when I tried to gain weight when I was younger and I like would take any supplement, I'd take anything. I could not pack on pounds. I guess it's a metabolism. It, it's, a, it's a body typing mm -hmm. or a metabolic rate. It, someone would consider your typing like ectomorphic and so that's a light frame with a really fast metabolism. So that makes it difficult to gain weight, I lean body mass. Mm -hmm. And so there are sort of strategies, um, projects, and significant uh, majority of it has to do with your nutrition. And then some type of training style. And then just- Did you ever try eating vegetables, John? No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and what else? And then just being consistent, you know, having a consistent project. And look, everybody's project, is different. Uh, no, you're probably not going to look like Todd. I mean, Todd's been really invested in this project, significantly so. So, uh, a big part of his physical life is, you know, committed to this. However, does that mean that you can't pick up your own physical project and make some kind of a change? Uh, anybody can do that within their own parameters, based on their body typing and the specific program that can kind of incentivize them and that fits for for what they're trying to do. I like I like calling it a pro, uh, project. A project, as, a project. Opposed, it as is. opposed to a program. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. It, it kind of makes it feel like something your own. I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be. Um, Gosh, John's not going to consider it this way. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> he already knows John. <laughs> Here we go. See, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. I so, think it's going to be fun for everybody but me. What, what's wrong with this picture? Here? <laughs> so what, what exactly are we going to do? Do we need to, if we're talking about body types and everything, obviously, he has a body type. I have a specific kind of body type. Um, do we need to have an idea of where we want to go, or do you, sure. we just let you control that? Wait, or before we get into that, though, I think she uh, said Kelly is going to do this. Too. She <laughs> is. She's, we talked her into doing it. Kelly's going to do it. Didn't take a lot of talking to be honest. I, I, but, I like working out. Yeah. I mean, back in CES, we were both, you know, in better, uh, in you were going to say back when shape. I was in better shape and <laughs> oh, I, before no, I let myself you go. Haven't, I, I've gained weight because f from CES yeah. because. You know, we've been working so hard on this new building well, and stuff. But in, in all fairness, so one of the things that we do is we kind of go through these cycles. Like yeah. when we know, uh, we're on camera all the time, and so I guess you know neither of us is going to let ourselves completely go just because it would suck. Right. Like right. the feedback would suck. Okay, right. but at the same time, like leading up to CES or a big event where we where we know it. Like we're getting paid to be spokespeople for something, we try and look our best, mm -hmm. yeah. and so we do get in better shape, you know. And it takes you know two or three months, and we can get in better shape. But um, then we kind of let it go a little in between. Well, it's a matter but, of priorities, I think, because we get really busy with work and building out the studio and doing everything we're doing here. Um, at, when I set a priority to do something, I definitely notice that I get there to the gym and I do things and I have progress, mm -hmm. but. It's a matter, and I think that everyone struggles I think, with this. I think it's not just priority. I see some of the, the listeners and the questions, but I think uh, one of the things which they're correct, it is, it's a lifestyle, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not just a, a priority that fits in, it's a three to four week, and that's the biggest thing for me, right? It's just part of my lifestyle. So even when I'm busy, I get two kids full time on, on both that, with sports, Ed Tan all the time, but my nutrition stays the same, I'm still gonna train, I'm gonna do everything, because it's fit yeah, in my lifestyle. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. But you can are you so pick disciplined. out event, uh, you know, occasionally? I'd be good. I, yeah, once a week, a couple times a week, I right. eat great, and that's I still all I eat need to know. <laughs> within the perimeters. I don't eat super, super clean all the time. But again, it's because it's that lifestyle where yeah. you understand what your body responds to, right? And then different pieces can fit in different places. So, does it matter that I'm 43? Hmm? Hey, it does not. 
I'm on. Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> He's not. He doesn't want to say. <laughs> home. Yeah, I, I, I'm 41 this month, so, so I turned um, 40 this year but, too. Yeah, okay. but you guys have been doing it for a long time. Does it matter that I'm starting at this age? No. It, it if I if I wanted to get you know like really change things and get serious, do do other people still? Are they able to achieve these kind of results? Absolutely. Or, because you know they say all. You, if you watch all the kind of bullshit stuff, marketing <laughs> things, you know, people are trying to get you to do like testosterone shots and, right. and supplements and surgeries and all this stuff. I mean, uh, they make it sound like by the time you hit 40, your body is just, <laughs> you should write it off, you know? <laughs> I, I, I mean, do our bodies change as we age? They do. Uh, protecting against that, um, this lifestyle makes you younger. I mean, all those things. And I think the biggest thing for our project and for anyone is just to get educated on what choices you have. I mm -hmm. think that's the biggest part. If you can get educated, you know, be with someone like Todd and me and we give you ideas about systems and give you choices, then you have the opportunity to make it what you want. If you guys have an event that's coming up and you say, you know what, I want to make this a 10-week project, an eight-week project, and I want to look better for this event, then you have a system mm -hmm. that you've used for yourself that you can call back on. And absolutely, Kelly, I mean, everyone on my programs gets to eat once or twice a week, and it's sort of a, a reward. Like, I want people to feel normal. If it's torture, people won't do it. No right. one will do it. I mean, you have to feel normal. Um, and so <laughs> it, it, it's got to it's gotta <laughs> fit the person. Each project has to fit the person and what their par yeah. parameters are. And so you have to kind of sort of what I am as a people manager. So that's in the crux of the, I, I do the, the fitness thing, but really what I'm just managing is expectations at the end of the day. What is it that you want? What is it that you would think you would want? Here are the things that I think we can achieve. And so let's find that project that works for you and let's yeah. give it a shot. Uh -huh. I, I, I think also what I was going to say is Jeff's right. Like a, there is a lot of changes in your body, right? But then also a lot of the people that are marketing that commercial stuff, it's, it's revenue, it's money, yeah. right? Yeah. So people don't want to put in all the hard work and they think, hey, if it's that quick sure. yeah. and it's being marketed to them, wow, well, you see those results. So I think a lot of people, I'll call it chase that dream rather yeah. than put the work in. Mm -hmm. But there is a certain uh, percentage that your body changes, et cetera, and you have to modify to, to get within that. Well, so Holly said that it'd be lifestyle. okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Holly said that, uh, she said, you know, no big expectations as long as I look like Ryan, Ryan Reynolds when it's <laughs> on. Okay. That's, that's, that's all. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Look, did you hear her laugh? <laughs> no. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm that wasn't kidding. at you. <laughs> it was with you. We're laughing with, with you. you. <laughs> what were you going to say? No, I was just going to ask you, Todd, how, how long it took you to, for it to become a lifestyle. I mean, did you have ebbs and flows before you got to that point? Sure. I think, um, more my ebbs and flows were on the diet side prior, right? Training, I can, I've always trained hard. I trained with guys like Jeff when I lived in Canada and stuff, and then coming down here. That's sort of, uh, I say, iron sharpens iron, right? So working out and pushing each other harder. But then when I started working with Jeff and really dialing in my diet is when I saw the majority of results because I was putting in a lot of hard work, but I was still eating not consistently like I should be. And it wasn't really, I say, bad food, but it wasn't eating enough calories. It wasn't understanding what I should be taking in to get the results. And that's really what Jeff helped me over the last few years. Can so. we talk about food for a minute? Yes, sure. Sir. sure. Talk food. Seriously, okay, it's true. Everybody knows that my diet is <laughs> crap. Okay, I, I, it's bad. I really eat bad. I mean, I, I do eat, I drink Cokes. If, if I was left to my own, and I didn't have to do anything else. I would drink nothing but Coke. That's what I like to drink. I wouldn't drink water ever. I'd just drink Coke like morning, noon, night. Uh, I would. I eat candy like crazy and chips. Those are my three main food groups, like bags of chips. I just go through bags of chips, candies, and Cokes. Now, how bad is that for me really like if, if I was working out a lot does, does that matter or do I really need to like what what are we gonna have to do here that, and I don't eat any vegetables it's true I if it's green it's not it's not that I don't eat it because like candy is and cokes that's a choice I can turn that off mm -hmm. I cannot eat veg I cannot eat lettuce if you try to shove it down lettuce. my throat okay. I will throw up I can't do it so I cannot incorporate that I can maybe you know, do smoothies and blend some stuff up in them or something that I can't taste. But I, I have a problem when it comes sure. to diet. Uh, you know, there are all, all alternatives on the vegetables for sure. Um, yeah, your staple food groups are probably going to have to change. <laughs> that might be the first. Your staple food group. That, might, that might be the first piece of my we have food to pyramid is yeah. kind of upside down or it something. Is, it is. Hey, Josh, you need baby food. Uh, baby food. Yeah. Baby, food. Yeah. Yeah. baby greens. <laughs> baby veggies. Uh, 
I mean, however it is that we can negotiate this, mm -hmm. we are going to come up with a different system for eating, and so we'll make trades until we find a place <laughs> in which we're sort of moving forward, you know? And so, he's, he's so he's so great. Great. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start Look, on this Paul Dixon's like, John P's going to starve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's but that's cool. the thing, you can't just starve, right? you got to feed the machine. Yeah. We certainly are not going to starve. Um, we're going to learn how to eat, and um, you do actually do a lot of consuming, and it's different. I mean, it's really different when you're talking about eating <coughs> mm -hmm. high sugar foods. You know, the interesting thing about those is, is you can eat a lot of high sugar foods and get in a significant amount of calories, and we don't have a system that tells you to stop. So that's why people can eat a lot of chips, they can eat a lot of gummies, <coughs> and drink a lot of Cokes. When you're eating protein and starchy carbs and vegetables, which we may or may not eat, um, <laughs> your body does tell you to stop. There is a trigger that says, I've had enough of this and this is all I need and, and I feel satisfied and I'm going to use this in a way that's in my body that's, that's beneficial. And so it's interesting that when you can put yourself in that system, and I'm not saying it's not hard work because it will be, it is a transition absolutely in the way you feel, the way you see food, the way you respond will, it will really change. And I kind of tell people when you start a different lifestyle like this, there's a two to three week period that's it's kind of strange. You have a withdrawal. This, you absolutely will have a with sugar withdrawal because you're dealing with some insulin responsiveness that you've had going on for a while and so you're used to it. And so when all those things change, it's like a cleansing. It's almost like a cleansing. So it feels really strange. And then when you get into the groove of it and Todd can tell you this, uh, you feel really good and consistent. And then everything kind of starts changing physically and you feel good on the inside. And then what happens with most people is, is that they are incentivized by feeling better and by the results they're seeing, and then you have a pretty good level of compliance at that point. You hope well, I, I'm way ahead of you, John, because I don't eat sugar. No, she's good. And so I'm already past She only that. drinks water. I love my veggies. I love my fish. Uh, so you sh I should be pretty easy for you. Yeah. And she works um, out all the time already. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> but uh, actually, Greg in the chat room said that he's 45 in answer to yeah. your question earlier, and he's uh, done two savage races awesome. and uh, another kind of race. Um, so that's fantastic. And he's also asking if we're going to share this plan and what we're doing. So the answer is Greg and everyone else. Yes, indeed. We're going to share pretty much everything. Well, that's why we I started. I haven't decided if I'm going to weigh in publicly yet. Yeah. But outside she's not of that. going to. <laughs> but that's why we that's why we all agreed to have this conversation here was because um, we really don't know what any of this and so we figured we would just share with you because if you do want to play along or you know whatever we'll expose as much as yeah. what, of what we're doing as mm -hmm. possible though keep in mind that for example you know whatever Jeff and Todd decide to put me through personally that that I, I will share that but that doesn't mean that that would be what's right for you 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 and I have different body types we have different yeah. you probably eat vegetables and I don't uh, <laughs> you know uh, we we may have different tolerance levels for for how much abuse we can physically take based on the condition we're starting from things like well, that right people like, that want to get their programs towards them at the end or whatever later we can tie that into Jeff and stuff and we well, can we'll try. The, we'll we can't do that, for, but we could maybe. You know, what we could do is at, at some point we need to figure out a means where, where because obviously there's so many of yeah. you guys, and there's only like two of these guys. You know, <laughs> sure. uh, we can't maybe do everything very, yeah. but we can figure out some ways to incorporate in questions and answers. So at least if you mm -hmm. send them to us, then we can talk mm -hmm. about it, and the feedback can come somehow yeah. from the team to you. And maybe we can all brainstorm about, uh, not right now, but later, some ways that people could play along where we're giving them Absolutely. general guidelines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everything that we are going to do, uh, and yes, the cameras will be going into the gym with us oh from God. time to time. Uh, sorry, John. <laughs> but uh, whatever we do, all the videos and blog posts, uh, you guys can follow along at geekbeat.tv slash fitness. I just sprung that on Wow. You. Um, <laughs> we got a whole URL for this. Mm -hmm. okay. But you'll, you'll be able to see all the backlogs John's of everything progression that we've done. Oh, God, yeah, no. exactly. Can we take a before and after? No. <laughs> we are going to do that. Oh, <laughs> no. We are. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, what other kind of questions food, did we have? We've so got, we, talk about, uh, we talked about not being, oh, I'm not too old. Right. None of us are too old. When, too old. when should we start to see results in a program like this if, if we're eating right and mm -hmm. if we're working out enough, sh am I going to see it tomorrow? I think you could see it in, you know, three to five to seven days. A feel results. I mean, uh, your body's shifting. Does it take longer than that for body fat to come off? It does. But 
Do you start to shift the balance of what's going on with your body immediately? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty immediate. How long does it take to get abs like Todd's? <laughs> I, I, I mean, and I'll a let long, Todd speak like about it. years. It, 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 I mean, absolutely. I mean, the project that Todd undertakes, you know, a couple times a year for a competition is, it's very intensive. Um, it would be outside the norm. Mm -hmm. uh, he is very committed to it, and we are manipulating his body fat level um, and monitoring him really closely over an extended period of time so that for the shoots, for his shows, we have designed a program such that on that day or at that shoot, we have maximized what it is that he can look like. And so it, it is an undertaking. Can you develop an abdominal core? Absolutely. Can you reduce body fat in your abdomen to show abs with any program? You absolutely can. Is sleep that important? Because if I'm gonna dedicate time to working out. Yeah, we don't sleep very much. We don't very sleep much. very much already. So That's not good. what's the deal here? I don't either. <laughs> Same with me. Yeah, I don't think any of So it's not do. killing you. Like, it, like, how many hours of sleep a night do five, you guys usually get? Five? five? Oh, five oh, okay. to six. Maybe, but yeah. I, I will say, though, Kelly, I think it is important. Cortisol Everyone has his, his or stuff, her own well. sleep clock, yeah. though. I mean, yeah. I've seen uh, a wide variety. Some people need eight, some people need ten, some people do four. Yeah. It just depends mm -hmm. sort of on, on your ability to be responsiveness and what you're used to. But the, the sleep, you know, sort of provide the recovery for all of our systems in our body. I mean, it absolutely does. It's important to at least have some kind of consistency in that schedule, even if the mm -hmm. schedule's not long. You have some consistent sleep and wake time. That certainly can make a difference. I think better bodies. nutrition as well plays into that, right? So if you're eating candy all the time eat. and you're sleeping three hours a night, and then you're really a night compared to feeding your body with stuff that allows it to recover properly, yeah. mm -hmm. that's another element. And then also hydrating, right? If John's drinking Coke all the time, yeah, rather than water, I, I notice a huge difference on myself not drinking water. You know what's weird? When I do stop, like when we go to CES or when mm -hmm. we go to a big event or something, I do I do cut out the cokes. And what's weird is, I when I go to only water, even though I'm drinking a lot more water, I'm always thirsty. Mm -hmm. I don't understand mm -hmm. technically why that happens. Like I drink cokes, even if I don't drink that much, I'm probably in some kind of perpetual state of dehydration. Mm -hmm. But the coke is masking that. I don't feel that way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when I drink water it's like oh man if I I would go through like eight or ten of these things in a day and, right. and it's like as soon as I have it five ten minutes later I want some more water okay. what's up with that it, it's most likely that your your body has identified that you're dehydrated and you're trying to recover you've gone for so long you know about being dehydrated <laughs> it's gonna take you like a year and a half to recover <laughs> it's it's bringing John drinking more water I'm drinking I'm drinking minimum one to two gallons a day and before Holy the show is crap. upwards of two to three gallons a day do you guys ever do anything like sit in a, a sauna or anything like that? Are you a sauna guy? I might a couple times before a show. It just depends. I'm not a big... Um, sit there I'm, and just get hot and sweat. Yeah, I sweat enough just doing my cardio alone where yeah. I lose a lot of my uh, calories in excess. So That's a, r a good question. How much, how much... What's the split between actually you know, lifting weights mm -hmm. and doing cardio. Yeah. And what counts as cardio? Because like, I don't want to go do a Jillian Michaels fitness video. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I just okay. feel like I can't do that. But like, you know, what can I do to get my cardio in? I, you, you know, I think that that's what will be interesting about our, our specific program design. If it is that you don't love cardio, then maybe we do weight resistance training in a way that we do it at a high tempo when we keep your heart rate high. Intensity. And so yeah. we are burning calories um, while also stimulating muscle. And then maybe we have some short cardio session at the end of it so that your heart rate is elevated over some specific period of time. And Where again, you might do plyometrics or something. Absolutely. Yeah. For someone like you. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> just jump it around. Some oh, yeah. Around. Okay. Jump yeah. around. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think if we can implement a program specifically with the things that you have. The great thing about your project, John, is everything is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard to fix it. It's really not hard to fix it. You're perfect. You know, yeah. you look smart. Right, exactly. <laughs> can somebody make a, a short clip out of that? <laughs> That's good. But, 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 but literally, when someone like you comes in, yeah. I say, well, I'm going to look, this is going to be a successful project. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just have to get compliance, and it might not even be 100%, maybe it's 60%. It compliance. doesn't matter. You it can't fail, matter. right? I'm, this is a win for me, you know? <laughs> so, uh, all everything, if it is that we can drag you in and figure out a way to get your meals to you, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs>
for sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, so you're going to be doing, we're both going to be doing the weight training with you. Correct. And you're going to find a way to get him some cardio. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also going to work with both of your wives, yes. it sounds like. Uh -huh. Your wife does yes. um, she some dance. She teaches a dance a ton class. It's a cardio conditioning class. Okay. It's really dance -a -ton? cool. Dance-a-ton? It's called Dance-a-ton. Yep. And uh, she loves it. And so... It's uh, it's a class based on um, you learn choreography and oh, okay. you dance and it's it's really fun. Well, I used to be a ballet dancer, so Great. I'm yeah. cool with perfect. that. Yeah. And then your wife is a yoga instructor. We actually yes. have a picture of Deborah. Um, she is an amazing physical shape. Ooh, I haven't mama. seen your wife. I'm yes. sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sure she's an amazing physical shape up. too. She what? Is. Her lower third was covering oh. up her face. There's, look at that. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna do some yoga with I her can't as even well. Do that. Yes. And so You'll definitely get your cardio in there. It's not just the meditative style yoga. Right. So. Yeah, I've heard you uh, say she pushes people to the limit. Yes, limits. she does. So, so it's good. I don't know. So I we're going to be experimenting <laughs> with all of this stuff. Um, a couple of questions from the chat room. Which uh, fitness monitor are we going to use during the process? Well, I have about a bazillion of them. Yeah, so no joke. I'll be putting them all to the test. But are um, they even use? I mean, are, are they honestly, useful? That's a great question. Yeah, does it matter if we wear one of those things? What difference does it make? I, I certainly think recording the data would be interesting. I, um, what, which date? Like, there's so, the thing so is, we have so many fitness trackers that I don't know steps. which one is good to yeah. you know. I think we're gonna and Jeff speak to this, but we're gonna find out where your calories should be, right? So we're going to know your calories, you're going to break down your ratios of food, your protein, your carbs, your fats. Um, I use a heart rate monitor in the morning when I do my cardio, just so I know different levels because I'm burning different, I'm burning fat more at different levels, right? When my heart rate's at 160 or plus, I'm burning. So I do hit interval, but I wear a heart rate monitor for, for those sessions. I don't wear a heart rate monitor when we actually train, but I know a lot of people do. Um, so there's a lot of different monitors that will tie in, but I think heart rate will tie in um, probably um, calipers, so to find where your fat mm -hmm. Measurements like are. the little pinchy things, yeah. like yeah, yeah. The, the old school ones where there's a lot of electronic ones these days. Mm -hmm. so there's a whole bunch of different ones. Oh, yeah, like the mm -hmm. scales are those. I have one of those. Uh, I think the idea with the with the body fat measurement, uh, to be honest, is is you're just making it apples to apples. You know, right. so whatever the system is that you use, you just continue you to that, use that, yeah. and yeah, you know exactly. the progress. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That, that I think was when my, my heart rate, as well. I think when my heart rate hits 88, I go like into the future or something. <laughs> right. Nice. Awesome. Geek reference I'm not there. sure about that, but so we're gonna have a <laughs> interesting few weeks. Haram <laughs> says he uh, he increased his uh, his workouts by moving the sofa farther from the fridge. That's well, a good congratulations. plan. Congratulations. That's a good plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and dr and drink bigger like beverages. Like instead of just doing a 16 ounce coke. Get, well, the, get the heavier, two liter. Right? Yeah. yeah, get the two liter. So, you know. <laughs> now, here's a very important question that came through uh, while we were hyping this uh, stream up is do I need a partner? You know, if we're going to try and get people involved at home, do mm -hmm. they need a partner like you guys work together at the gym mm -hmm. or can they do it on their own? Uh, you know, I think it depends on the individual mm -hmm. um, and how motivated you are and if you're the kind of person who likes to do your own thing or if you'd like to do it with a friend. And, and to be honest, when people undertake sort of these projects together, it can be a, a great community goal. And so I think you just kind of decide, like, what is it that I want to do? Uh, do I have some friends who would want to lose weight, get in shape, do this project together? Um, and then kind of decide how you want it to put together. It's really personal. Yeah. Um, you know, some people like to just do their own thing and they like to put their headphones mm -hmm. on and go in their own zone. And then some people really like the community of being able to do it together. Maybe we can start a little, you Social know, network I, for, you know, uh, <laughs> well, for, yeah, that'd be for funny. working out together. No, I'm sure there's plenty of those, but I was thinking, you know, in the past I've done like a little John P. Fit Challenge thing and a couple hundred people usually join in. Maybe we do something like that again. Yeah. I picked that up actually from um, our old boss, yep. Jack, Jack. Um, he started that years and years ago and it was funny because when I used to work at a company called Savas, our CEO, Jack Van Laysen, he, he he's really fit, you know, for, for a guy his age, he's a little older than we are and he was always in great shape and he used to do once a year a fitness challenge mm -hmm. and he would make you do all these things like you can't have soda, you can't mm -hmm. do this, that and the other. And, I never joined. In all the years that I worked for him, I never once joined. But then whenever I stopped, uh, I just I kind of took his program and bastardized it, and then I called it the John P. Challenge. That was my way of getting 
uh, motivated. Yeah. So maybe we'll 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 do another one of those. We'll call it the Geek Beat Challenge instead, and yeah. everybody can join. You can pledge to join in, and we'll figure out what kind of things what we should like. make. What we'll we'll come up with some rules that if you're going to join that challenge, you have to live up to these particular guidelines mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. absolutely and then everybody can report back on their progress because you're going to be seeing whatever the heck we're going through so you have to report back what you're what you're having happen as well greg is asking what uh john's actual goal is well can can you bring up a picture of todd <laughs> Ricky's gonna have to edit that. That's my goal. That huh? is his goal. <laughs> that, that goal is unachievable. I think. Is it really? Uh, should sorry, we have? What did you should say? We have, I, I was distracted by all the sound of the abs. <laughs> right. Yeah. Would you say it's a, it's a you know advisable to have achievable goals or that's, unachievable that's goals? Plan, John. I mean, I, I sort of had this idea that we would have this sort of initial meeting and assessment, and then decide what those achievable goals are for mm -hmm. each of you. And then talk about the things that you like to do, don't like to do, yeah. and then implement a system that works for both of you and say, hey, I want to do these things, or I'd like to look like this, or I'd like to achieve these things. And so each of you has sort of your own specific design, right. and then we, we do it. And it would be great to have some kind of a before and after, whatever version of that mm -hmm. you would be okay, you guys would be okay with. So people can kind of see, you know, what it is that's going on and how it works and over what time period it works. Yeah, I think John's playing it down a little bit because John, I, I've seen you do the John B challenge and you, you had some major improvements there, right? On, on this, both of uh, losing weight and also putting on muscle at that time when, when I knew you. So yeah. from that standpoint, I know a little bit already how hard we're gonna get to push John <laughs> and push him a little bit harder than that this time. So. Well, I do, you know, one of the things that we didn't talk about is um, I, I seem to be blessed with a fairly resilient yeah. physique so the reason I get away with eating like I do is because um, if I do want to change I, I can actually make changes pretty quick and mm -hmm. I do have enough self-discipline yeah. I can actually just cut cold turkey I can stop um, you know right now I don't have a lot of weight to lose I, I weigh I think 163 right now okay. so I mean certainly there is body fat that can come off but I don't think we have a tremendous amount mm -hmm. I think if we were going to talk about goals, um, for me personally, the areas that I'm not pleased with, number one, I would like to be a lot leaner. I think my face and my neck and everything look better when I'm, when I'm just mm -hmm. leaner, okay? Um, two, I would like to have a chest that looks more like his. I know I can't, I can't achieve that. I've never in my life had a big chest, mm -hmm. and I think it's partially because my frame is, I'm just a narrow guy. I'm mm -hmm. not... I'm not built like other people. And so my chest never has looked particularly muscular. My arms, I can make pretty pretty quick gains. I can get my arms looking what I think of as being pretty big relative mm -hmm. to the rest of me. And, and so I wanna make sure my arms look good. Cool. And my abs, so my abs, my chest, my arms. The rest of me, I just wanna be fit. I don't need to be big. Mm -hmm. I just sure. wanna really, um, you know, I was kidding around, but, uh, what's his name, Ryan Reynolds, you yeah. know, one of the things that I admire about him is he's not got a huge frame, a huge physique either, but he just looks intensely fit, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, Very defined. And of course, he gets paid Believe millions. Me, I've, I've, I, you've studied it. He gets paid <laughs> millions of dollars to, to, to work out six hours right. a day and do whatever he has to do. We don't have that option. Mm -hmm. But if we can, if I can personally get more along the lines of like, you know, kind of, mm -hmm. People would look at me and not see Todd, but they'd look at me and see how, you know, with a few more years and a little more dedication, <laughs> uh, sure. maybe, you know, he's Absolutely. halfway there, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all. That's all my only goal. That's great. I think um, those are very reasonable, realistic. It's awesome. What about tea? <clears throat> um, we were talking about Coke and water oh. and everything. Thoughts on tea? Tea's great. I mean, unsweetened tea is great. Um, no sugar. Hot tea. Hot tea's great. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with drinking as much tea as you want. There is not. Okay. Question was, can they talk about heart rate and what are good levels to try to stay within for a workout without overdoing it right out of the gate? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, right out of the gate, uh, I, I assume meaning that you and haven't been working starting out. Maybe? Exactly. Uh, and uh, this is individual also, yeah, but I, I think you probably what you do is you go in and you wear the monitor and then you have a moderate workout. So have a moderate workout and then you record the information there. 
and then it sets sort of your baseline. And then the idea is that if it's cardiovascular activity, you start conditioning yourself so that you can elevate that heart rate and you work in a zone in which it's the most appropriate for you. That could be if you're doing cardiovascular activity and if it were me and I was starting someone, you probably look at a heart rate of 120 beats a minute as a, as a work rate mm -hmm. uh, that's comfortable and where you can burn some body fat and then you see how long you exist or can last at that rate and then you start tracking from there and that you push your, your rate up and Todd talked about doing HIT training which is high intensity training or high intensity cardio so you start working your heart rate up for some period of time and then bring it back down and so you're conditioning yourself mm. to be able to elevate your heart rate over yeah. time. Yeah, there's different benefits of that because of, we won't get into it, but the oxygen utilization and stuff so you're burning fat far after your actual workout so the period that you're going back and you're eating and stuff you're continually burning right you're we're, we're going to condition your body to more or less become a furnace so it's consistently taking in that food and then burning those calories and so did did you also tell me something about y you know i only eat twice a day i <laughs> eat lunch and i eat dinner well and then there's like the all the snacking in between but we won't ignore that like right. my, my actual meals twice a day is that okay we're going to eat more meals. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to eat more meals. I mean, I sort of thought about just initially from a design point, we're talking about a, a breakfast. We're going to try to make that happen. And then a lunch and a dinner. And that's great. I mean, three meals as sure. sort of your steady. And then hopefully the snacking in between the meals makes sense. Snacking is good? Well, it could be. We're going mean, to change a good. few of your items. Yeah. <laughs> but the snacking can be strategic, and it, and, and it should be. And so, again, like we will make a program design. What I like to do is take a design that, that makes sense and that you will be compliant to. Hey, man, I'm willing to do this. I'll try it. And then hopefully that design evolves. But uh, three, three meals a day, lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is great. And then some sort of intermediate snacking, um, which is strategic, is, pr is pretty typical. We'll structure different things right after your workout and stuff, right? So your body's utilizing different foods. Um, so you'll have a, a meal with more carbohydrates and stuff in it after your workout to, to utilize. To, oh, I thought it was before. It could be it both. Could be both. It could be both. It's it's sort of a typing thing, you know. Okay. And so I, I, it's kind of s specific to the person and what we're trying to do, you okay. know. For so for someone like yourself. If it is that body fat reduction is is sort did of you just our call goal, me fat? <laughs> I did not. I did not. I think you mentioned I'm earlier. No, 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 I'm just teasing. <laughs> Good. Um, but that, that we would have uh, maybe some limitation in yeah. that, so that your workouts are really designed such that we are our emphasis is more body fat reduction body fat, than it yeah. would be yeah. um, muscle mm -hmm. development. Exactly. Yeah. So you're shifting the way that you support, you know, mm -hmm. front and back. And so hopefully what that does is that it leads itself to putting you in the position that you want to be versus a little bit different position than you want to be in. Yeah. Right. Is it possible for me to actually get a little bigger mm -hmm. while also, I mean, while also getting more cardiovascularly fit? I mean, you, it seems like if you, if you watch, for example, the Olympics or something, you, you see these distance marathon runners from like Zimbabwe and they, they're like, tiny little sticks of human right. beings, mm -hmm. okay? They have unbelievable endurance, mm -hmm. but they're tiny. And then you look at the weightlifters, and I think that, you know, they get they, they lose their breath far, yeah. trying to get to the Big Mac off stage, okay? Um, how do you, yeah. it, from where I'm at, can I get bigger and also still have more endurance? Or is it gonna be like, when I move in one direction, it pulls me back from the other direction? That's a, that's a really good question. Um, you know, you talk about two extremes, you know, in terms mm -hmm. of performance. So, but both of those ends have been specifically designed their program to be really efficient at doing one thing. Yeah. Uh, but, but it is a good question but because when you start taking the pieces apart, you would say, well, can I get into a, a calorie reduced state, i.e. drop body fat, and then hypertrophy, add muscle at the same time? It, it, it doesn't seem like it's the, the possibility. However, in a situation where we're in, which is all of this is going to be really new. And so there are a lot of places where we can make fixes or make program changes. My goal for you, just right off the bat and listening to you talk, is that I don't know that we will end up actually dropping body weight. I would hope that we add lean body weight mm -hmm. as we are dropping body fat. And allude to something Todd said is that we're stimulating your metabolic rate and your metabolism mm -hmm. so that your body is becoming sort of more efficient at everything. And I think there, there's a lot of upside in doing that. At some level, and Todd could speak to this, when you are sort of trying to decide which direction you want to go in to an extreme, no, you cannot do both. Yeah. But that's, that's out there. That's mm -hmm. pretty far out there. 
you can achieve a general, um, you know, more health all the way around for a significant amount of time. Absolutely. That's what we're going to try to do for cool. sure. For both of you guys, actually. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I, I think that pretty much answers most people's questions. Um, I, there's, I have a lot more. I know you guys have a lot more. Um, oh, wait, there's one more question to, oh, okay. that is actually important because it probably applies to a lot of people. Yeah. Not me. For vegetarians, mm -hmm. oh yeah, or those of us in Lent, mm -hmm. are there ways to get enough protein while not eating meat or fish? So my or wife's fish. a vegetarian, um, Deborah, and yeah. when she was uh, competing with Jeff, she did eat fish. She's gone more now, so she does eat a lot of different seeds. A lot of her uh, protein comes from seeds, hemp, um, edamame, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, oh. different things that yeah. do. She does use soy protein a little bit. But she gets a lot from different um, vegetables as well as uh, seeds, and then she adds more, a little bit more fat into her diet based on on that. But uh, she's able to hold muscle, and um, there's also amateur bodybuilders that I know that are full vegan. So um, it's possible. It's possible. absolutely doable. Absolutely. Okay. okay. It is. All right. Sorry. No, no, that's good. That was a good stuff. question to get in. So we, yeah. got, I mean, we could obviously talk about this for days, yeah. weeks, years. Um, and I think but we that's will a be. good start. Yeah, <laughs> we'll 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 keep you guys abreast of the situation. I believe we're going to start this program on Monday. Oh I'm God. sorry, this project on Monday. The project. Right. Yeah, that's right. Project right. is the project going to have a name? We need to name yeah, it. We you do. guys, if you have suggestions for the project name, shoot them on over. So so John's got four days left to go to Costco. Yeah, I can like, does that mean I can just go, go nuts for I the next? I would go nuts. Because <laughs> yeah. then it's all going to end? It's all, it's all, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, comments below and all that good stuff, and we'll see you later on. Bye.